Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Amos chapter 1, verse 7, as well as Jude chapter 1, verse 1. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for all you've done, Lord God. Thank you for this word. Thank you for truth. Help us to see your light. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. Amos chapter 1, verse 7. So I will send a fire upon the wall of Gaza, and it shall devour her strongholds. All right, and so this is Gaza of Philistine. And this is like the verdict um, of basically what she had done against Judea um, to the border cities. Um, so this was um, when she had taken all of their um, slave, their people in the border cities and delivered them over to Edom to be traded for slavery. And so this was the verdict. Um, that God had pronounced against them. It says, so I will send a fire upon the wall of Gaza and it shall devour her strongholds. So her fortified areas, her areas where she is very strong, the areas where they consider, you know, um, one of their artists to penetrate areas, he is going to devour them with fire. All right, so they'll be weak and vulnerable in all their remaining spots. All right, and so um, the second, well, let me actually just tell you guys what I felt like the Holy Spirit was saying about this was that um, God remembers, right? Even the small um, skirmishes, all the all the little um, things done against Israel, even if the other country might have considered it small, God considered it great, right? The trading of Judeans um, for slavery um, over to the Edomites, they, that was a horrible thing. And God remembered it. God saw it. He took note of it and not just took note of it, but so that later he could um, deliver a verdict. He could deliver a sentence of judgment against them. Um, and that, that lets us know, too, it's better for us to just pray for our enemies that they would get back right than to, um, than to try to get back at them ourselves. Vengeance belongs to the Lord and judgment does, too. Amen. All right, you guys. So the next one that the Lord gave me was Jude chapter one. It says Jude, a servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James. And it says to those who are called beloved in God, the father and kept for Jesus Christ. Let me read it all again one time. Jude, a servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, to those who are called beloved in God, the father and kept for Jesus Christ. All right, and this is a greeting, and it is an opening for something else from for some sort of blessing to occur. And so it says he's a servant and a brother of James. So he's solidifying who he is, right? His his um actual title as a person, letting you know who he is, and and then he's telling you this blessing is to these specific people. It says, to those who are called loved in God the Father and kept for Jesus Christ. So we are called beloved, right? We are God's servants. And not only are we loved by him, he keeps us on a daily basis, right? Have you, have you ever felt kept by God? God is a great keeper. It says, to those who are called beloved in God the Father, and kept for Jesus Christ. We are kept for him. We are his inheritance. We are his possession. And so what is it that he's saying to, of course, the whole letter is to, but the Lord was leading me that I could give verse two as well. So verse two actually says, may mercy, peace, and love be multiplied. 
applied to you. So we are kept. We are beloved. That could stay by itself, right? We are kept and we are beloved for Jesus Christ, right? Um, and, and that blessing was just a cherry on top, right? Of more than a cherry. It says, may mercy, peace, and love be multiplied to you. So the first one is a verdict. The first one is a judgment. The first one is a remembrance of sin. And then the second one is a remembrance of mercy, a remembrance of love, a remembrance of peace and love being multiplied to us. Only our God would do something like that, letting us know, hey, you know what? I know you sinned. I remember all of that, but I don't remember it anymore. I wiped it all away. God is a good record keeper. So he, it's not as if he didn't see what we did. It's not as if he didn't know or, or, or have it, you know, somewhere. No, it says, as far as the East is from the West, he is going to forget um, the, our sins. When we repent and, and we, we come to him and we ask him for forgiveness and we're sincere in our heart, we become a part of his beloved, right? And when, we're, when he's keeping us, we are his beloved. And when we do that, when we're, we're abiding in him, we're getting mercy, peace, and love being multiplied towards us, right? Not the judgment, not the verdict that we deserve, not the fire that we deserve on our strongholds. No, God is granting us mercy. Where we deserve judgment, he's giving us mercy. Where we deserve chaos, he's giving us peace. Where we deserved uh, hatred and, and being pushed away because we rejected God at one point, you know, we lived and did our own thing. It, it, our actions rejected God. And so, but instead now, since we've come to him, we are his beloved. And it says, love be multiplied to you. Not just love, but love being multiplied to you. Hallelujah. Do you receive that today? I receive that. I receive that mercy. I receive peace and I receive love being multiplied to me. I, I love that loved and kept because that's me. I, I'm that I'm gonna call that out for myself. I feel like Jesus loves me and he keeps me day after day after day. If he allows me to see that day, it's a day of being beloved and being kept. No matter what the enemy is trying to tell you, no matter what what the the enemy is trying to convince you of by your visuals, close your eyes to that thing, right? And open your eyes to the word of God. The word of God is saying you're beloved and you're kept. The word of God is saying mercy, peace, and love be multiplied to you. So while I didn't even recognize that, the multiplied to you is to all three of them. Mercy, peace, and love be multiplied to you. So God is, is a rememberer of, of records, right? But he's also a rememberer of those who have come to him, his servants. Just like you said, Jude, a servant of Jesus Christ and the brother of James, he is, he's, he's a servant. So he's a part of those who are beloved and kept and having mercy, peace, and love multiplied to them. Amen. In order to bless someone with it, you got to have it yourself, right? So let's go ahead and pray. Thank you, Father God, for loving us. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for letting us be your loved. God, you show it in your keeping every day. You show how much you love us by letting us continue on and breathe and have more time for repentance. God, more time for mercy, peace, and love multiplying towards us. God, you are a great blessing to us. You are our shield and our very great reward. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We know that our enemies are taken care of. We know that you don't allow anything to go unnoticed. You are God. 
we give you glory and praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart and make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross. I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if you pray that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. No one can break that seal except Christ Jesus when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth. So he's going to do that. Amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you, his children, his peace. Take care.